Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. No, this is not a house remodeling video. I'm just gonna be uh, pointing out something that um, I think you should take advantage of because Izumi is is actually dropping every day. As far as I know, this is the third day that I have participated and she's dropping every day with 30 shards. So if you do the math 30 times, let's say for example, three or two days have passed that's 20 30 more or less we'll be getting around 10 copies of her if the trend continues so um this is this is another from the looks of it this is in another free um figure that we're going to be getting that is hard to look for just participate in in house reno renovation or remodeling or whatever house house building that the figures want to do participate in that co-op event because that is going to if, if you don't participate in that it's just a waste of resources so more or less she's from what i've seen with her kit she's going to be tremendously very good uh, very good offensively and defensively with shields and a lot of damage so before we go to to what they call this to her strategy and build i'd like to um showcase to you guys a future skin that she has which uh, i'm you know excited and looking for so this is what i'm actually after if this drops and when this drops okay so moving on to izumi's um strategy and build first we'll discuss her skills so skill wise um attack wheel blade range one slots attacks an enemy starts from the first enemy in the same line attack speed is intermediate not really that fast but definitely deals a lot of damage damage dealt is adjusted based on own shields so the bigger her shields the bigger damage she's going to deal so take note of this because shields is going to be playing a big part in her build uh, boost the damage from basic attacks by 25%. Okay, moving on to her ultimate, which is Extreme Gale. Initial energy is 70, while in defender mode, the ultimate stacks, uh, sorry, attacks all the enemies in the same row in a straight line as the target, then converts 30% of the current health into more shields value. While the Vanguard mode, while in Vanguard mode, the ultimate attacks the target four times and grants the same shield. So in defender mode, attacks everybody in the same row. In vanguard mode, attacks the, the only figure in front of her, but attacks it four times and grants the same shield. Okay. Um, upgrade effect for level two. Enter the battle in defender mode and gain 30 energy at the start of the battle. If uh, while entering Vanguard mode restores 30 energy, so restoring is is I think going to be um, um, a bit by bit, while gaining it at the start is immediate. At level three, while in Defender mode, the ultimate also grants a shield to all allies in the same row. While in Vanguard mode, the ultimate grants itself an additional shield. Uh, shield when landing a crit. So definitely, you also have to consider building her with crit or with, you know, um, depending on her gear, well, additional crit or additional shield. So memory of the 77th street enhances Izumi's ultimate, increases ultimate power by 10%, reduce the damage of enemies hit by Izumi's first ultimate by 25% for 7 seconds. This is actually tied to her adornment. Okay, we'll go to that later. Okay, so under her passive command, Albel, when there is a shield while in defender mode, increases crit rate by 5% for every second up to a max of 9 stacks. When at full stack, switch to vanguard mode. When no shield is present, recover health and remove 1 stack of the crit rate buff every second while in vanguard mode trigger a heavy blow after every four crits dealt so this is there is a lot of effects here triggering increased rate stacking of increased rate then recover health and remove one stack of crit um 
Vanguard move Heavy Blow after every four crits dealt. So, um, a lot of going on in her passive. Definitely a good combination for her. But again, this, this is kind of you know, a little bit confusing at best. But um, these are all positives in terms of what I see at a first glance. Um, upgrade effect level 2 when there is no shield while in defender mode. Increases energy recovery by 2. When in Vanguard mode, Heavy Blows will knock the enemy up to 2 seconds. The damage dealt by Heavy Blow is adjusted based on your own shield. What, level 3. When there is no shield while in Defender mode, increases health recovery every second by 40%. When entering Vanguard mode, increases attack speed by 100% for 8 seconds. So that is her passive. Last is her special Motor Oil Resonance. When attacked while in Defender mode, there is still a 25% chance... To reduce damage taken by 50 while in Vanguard mode increases dodge since chance by 15% and recover health after each successful dodge. Upgrade effects. Level 2 increases attack by 5% and crit rate by 10 unaffected by status changes either in Defender mode or Vanguard mode. When attacked while in Defender mode there is a 35% chance to reduce Damage taken by 50% while in Vanguard mode. Increases dodge chance by 20% and recover health after each successful dodge. So, aside from dishing a lot of damage, definitely she has a lot of defenses. Uh, apparently, there is kind of a bit of a health regeneration in her kit. A little bit health and um, shields. So, that is it for her skills. Um... As you can see here, in terms of her um, stats, uh, she's going to be good health-wise and defense-wise because primarily she's a defender. Attack-wise, if you want to make her deal a little bit more damage, um, attack should be um, boosted up. And also for crit, um, never mind account, uh, accuracy sup, uh, sup, support bonus and crit damage. So... Crit, defense, health, attack are her primary stats to be increased. Uh, weakness is definitely going to be attack. A little bit. A little bit. Not really a big weakness. But strength is definitely coming from her health and defense. Let's move on to the recommended parts for her. Okay, so for recommended parts, um, for the four-piece set, um, again, if you want to increase her attack, I am really recommending an attack set. A four-piece attack set will do. Um, she, 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 she's really a great offensive defender. It's She's an offensive defender, really. So giving her attack set, a four-piece attack set. The remaining two-piece set, my recommendation would be your heal set. You're going to need this for the shield effect, not for the restoration. So um, a 12% boost is always good in terms of shield and your other option for the 2p set is if you want to give her more hp then you go with hp also one critical one is a critical set no pun intended but a crit set would really also give her you know more oomph to her offense so either again um priority would be a heal set or crit set on the two-piece set that she's equipping. But for now, I'm using a, a, a heal set for her. Okay, moving on to her badge. Um, primary badge, which is important for her. I don't see any violet, you know, badge that is is really good for her. Um, I'm recommending two yellow badges, by the way. Eternal Adventure Badge, boost damage and damage reduction by 10%. Grants a 10% lifesteal when health drops below 50%. The other one, or the other badge that I am I am recommending is being used by Crusos. So the other badge that I'm recommending for her is the Eternal Valor badge. This is exclusive for defenders. Boost block rate by 10%. Also restores 3% of health loss every second when health is below 50%. But most definitely, I am recommending the other one, which is the Eternal adventure badge which i showcased a while ago okay so moving on to 
for adornment, I actually got this from the store already. Um, this adornment will really help her as well. Enhances Izumi's ultimate. So this is her uh, for her exclusive in, um, adornment. Increases ultimate power by 10%. Reduces the damage of enemies hit by Izumi in her first ultimate by 25% for 7 seconds. So um, this, if you have other pieces... Then you can upgrade um, the percentage for HP and attack bonus. So definitely those are um, the parts and the gear that I'm recommending for her. Um, let's move on to team composition while we're here. The first ones that I'm the first two that I'm recommending is going to be firstly is going to be Aoi for especially for the shield that she gives. So the more shield um she receives the better the next one is a fellow defender which is ayane okada definitely both of them can tag team for any team on the front line um as i've as i have you know uh, mentioned uh, or you know um as i've hinted earlier uh she is really going to be good in almost any team composition there's no you know there's no mistake in not ayane there's no mistake in bringing, bringing Izumi to any team. Um, she's gonna be perfect. Um, you just have to take her to at least level, um, tier four star Peach or five star Peach to be effective. And uh, there you go. So as for content is concerned, uh content guys odyssey is one of the contents that i think she will be good at the other one definitely which includes a lot of mobs because again she she can really deal you know uh big damage with mobs and concentrated damage on one single opponent um she can be very useful in your final battle counter strike a uh, final counter strike and the last one would be for PvP, if um, you're or brawl club. So these are the content that she is good. Um, I'm looking for a way to showcase her. Let's do a showcase for the brawl club, so that we could uh, at least have uh, one battle using not sweep, not a sweep, uh, one battle. So let's pick this one. Let's do one battle with her. Let's replace. Let's replace Megan with her and see how she does. Okay, so the enemy is very intimidating. I have almost the same. So I'm not sure if she can take down Megan, but um, she's only at level three, three something. Um, hopefully Rimuru could help her with. Uh... Ooh, actually it's not Rimuru who helped her; it's Milim who helped her. So Rimuru going through. She's actually holding her ground with Megan there. So even at 3 star, she is actually tough. So as you can see there, 3 star, 3 star Izumi is going to be tough. So as you level her up, she's going to pay dividends for you as she builds, you know, builds up more stats and builds up more shields. Okay, so my final thoughts for Izumi is um, number one, good with mob stages. Uh, tremendous offense capabilities and defensive capabilities for a defender. Um, although I know she's she's going to be difficult to acquire, but right now for the event, take advantage of that, guys. I'm sure a lot of you will be building her if indeed the theory holds that every day we'll be getting 30 as long as we clear the stages then we're going to be good. That's 10 copies more or less. Um, it's actually just wishful wishful thinking, but definitely it's, you know, one to hope for because she's she's actually a good figure. And uh, if we get her for free, why not? Um, thank you guys for staying this far. So if you're still here, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.